I got on the internet and I saw that there was an event in Pismo Beach for the Myers Manx Doom Buggy Club. They were we are headed to Pismo for the Myers Manx get together. My co driver is uh, very enthused about this trip, as you can tell by the look on his face. Let's do a quick pre trip interview. Brody, how do you feel about going to Pismo? Okay. Feel okay? What are you looking forward to? Going home. Going home? That, that was the reaction I was expecting. Uh, what do you, that's what you're most looking forward to. What are you least looking forward to? The drive. The drive there. What are you predicting we're about to go do? Something that doesn't last long. Something that doesn't last long? Why do you say that? Why don't you think it'll last long? than I thought he'd be. <laughs> Anything else? No. 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 Okay. Quick update. Uh, we're in Paso Robles, so we're getting there. 45 more minutes or so. I got young Brody here washing the window. We went through a swarm of bugs. Keep going. You're doing great. Can you not record this? <laughs> Why not? No, I'm just... It's good. <laughs> Teenagers. I, I like how it looks. Yeah, well, it's nice. It's a vibe. It's a vi it is a vibe. We are in the hotel trying to find our room. What, what room. What's the room number? 240. We're going, we're going the right way. First impressions, one bed. Oh no, <laughs> what are we going to do? I did bring a sleeping bag, so there's always the floor, my friend. I was gonna bring an air mattress, uh, but then I didn't. Sorry. Typical. How's the view? Let's check out the view. I'm sure it's okay. Think it'll be okay? Actually, I think it'll be nice. Never mind, I changed my mind. It's bad. It's bad? Is it a wall? Yeah. It's a wall. There's probably a thing going on right now that we're missing. Ah! But whatever. If I sleep on the floor, don't. But, uh, this is a toad, um, really neat one, really clean example, yellow. I don't know that much about toads, but it is, it's smaller than I thought. They look small and it is small. Okay, so we have made it to McClintock's here in Arroyo Grande, I think is where it is. And the buggy is safe and secure. Well, there's no bar. There's no what? Bar. Oh, you want to put the club on? Whatever, I don't care. We're good, I think we'll be all right. If the buggy's not there when we come back out, it's my fault, right? We didn't put the club on. So I am dressed for St. Patrick's Day. Brody, where's your green? You got some green? Yeah. He's lucky he has that on because I would be punching him so hard because he is Irish and yet he's not really celebrating the Irishness. You know what I mean? It is St. Patrick's Day, so you would think McClintock it's should St. be. St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have parked. Should we move? No. The buggy gets stolen and now it's your fault. Right, now that we're going into the area stop recording. okay all right it's embarrassing so we got ice cream from cowboy cone cowboy cookie and ice cream cowboy cookie and ice cream delicious i didn't really see the cowboy thing i didn't see the cat well there was an old telephone in there is that the only cowboy part of it i feel like and now we are on the pier it's a guy playing guitar he's actually sounds pretty good there's a guy preaching there was a guy talking about God and other stuff down at the other end. Are we over the water yet? Yeah, we're over the water. This is day one of Pismo uh, dune buggy trip. It's uh, probably like 8 o'clock at night. We are out on the uh, Pismo Beach Pier. You already said we're at the pier. Ah, okay, all right. We're at the very end. There's a lot of people out here, actually. It's like 8, 8.30. A lot of fishermen. And then just sightseers. It's nice. The weather's nice. I'm all bundled up because I'm old, but it's probably 60 something degrees. Lower than that. Lower than that? 50 something? I don't know. It's been cold in Stockton, so I'll take this. 
Yeah, it's pretty. Anything to add? No. How's the ice cream? It's good. Still good. We we had a great time. It was it was an adventure. The other things that stood out were any any original Myers Manx was really neat to see. Some were like fully original, like '70s style. There was one in particular that had like crazy paint, like like scallop uh, panels. Had an eight track. Those were some of my favorite cars. Some of my favorite cars though were were the Toads. Some of the really, there was a few really like clean retro street buggies that were kind of like mine, but like just nicer, nicer interior. There was a buggy that I recognized from the Myers Manx Instagram page. And I don't know the history and I should have asked questions, but I black and orange buggy and it says Myers Manx on the side and it is like race number 69. And it looks like a vintage like it's just got black wheels it's got orange fenders and it's black down the middle and it just looks really original look like volkswagen's original low back seats and then it's got these like kind of half doors and i've seen it in pictures and i'm not 100 percent sure what the history of that car or the you know historical significance is but it seemed <laughs> significant it says pilot tim tim martin pioneer town motel desert Mexican 1000. It might be one of the original cars that they did the the Baja 1000 or back then the Mexican 1000 in. I am so curious about that car and I really regret not asking more questions. That was my favorite car of the of the trip just because the styling and everything else. There was a really really neat green toad that there was two green toads that were just tricked out they just looked they were immaculate i love it when people redo the car and it and just like kind of perfect it and it and it's perfect but i also love originality kind of funky messed up like my car it's not perfect and it's original and it's got its history still on it i, I love i love both sides of it um i loved all the uh really well done purpose built you know non volkswagen buggies that you could really race in the desert there was a lot of those guys that had like full headsets shout out to to rugged radios 509 traffic way royal grande they were so nice everyone there was nice they were raffling things when we arrived saturday morning probably not till like 9 9 30 it was a great feeling and vibe I, I didn't know really what i was doing or what was going on i knew that they had some runs planned i didn't know where i'm not super familiar with Pismo. I've been there once. We eventually, I signed up for the, to be a member of the Myers Banks Club. Everyone was super, super nice. That's, that's the thing I really want to stress in this video is how friendly doom buggy people are. I just think they're a special kind of person. Just like it's a special kind of car, doom buggy people are just like special people. Always looking for fun, looking for adventure, not worried about being comfortable, not worried about how you look, but liking, you know, I don't mind attention when people talk about my car. Just imagine a giant group of these people. Everyone loved everyone's cars. It's just a certain feeling that I got and it was just so warm and welcoming. I've been in other car cultures and subcultures and hot rods and muscle cars, old Volkswagens and stuff. And the dune buggy crowd is definitely a special crowd that was just so nice um, and so inviting. They signed me up as a member. They rang a bell. I can't remember the lady's name who signed me up for everything, but she was super welcoming and super nice. And she was super busy doing a million things. And then we went on this run. The run was longer than I realized. We didn't get to ride on the beach. We didn't get to drive on the beach, Was which is one of the coolest things about Pismo. We didn't go to any dunes. We did go to a beach and it was, it was kind of it was pretty secluded. It was, it, there was like a little mini resort there. There was people with RVs and stuff, but it was like way off the beaten path. It had a little restaurant and like I said, like a little, like a general store and then like stuff you could buy, you know, boogie boards and beach stuff. And I went with a big group of buggies. I don't know, maybe 30, 25 to 30 buggies. One of the things that I really want to touch on and it's this, they call it the usher system. So you're in a big line of buggies and to make sure no one gets lost and make sure no one gets left behind. Because yeah, I didn't know the way. And it was, there was a lot of turns, you know, and everyone's got phones with GPS and stuff, but they, they wanted to stay together. So the lead, there was a lead buggy and there was a sweeper buggy. As you got to a turn, the lead buggy would motion to the, to the second buggy stay here and point the way. You would pull over and just point like, we're making a right, we're making a left, we're going straight, whatever it was. 
everyone stay together. And to me, that just really shows you what Doom Buggy people are about. They're about community, staying together, you know, and, and making sure no one gets left behind and lost and having fun. That was the other thing. Everyone was having a good time. There was just, it was just super fun. So we made our way down to this beach. So on the way there, it's, and it's quite a while. It's over an hour, hour and a half of driving. We do stop for gas. I decide I have plenty of gas. I make it all the way there. We, we have lunch. We hang out on the beach for a little bit and we head back. As I'm driving back, the buggy's running a little bit rough. We get back to the parking lot. You know, there was quite a big group of people back at Rugged Radios. I go to leave and my car doesn't start. And sure enough, several... <laughs> Several people offered to give me gas, and one gentleman in particular had a gas can. I put gas in my car. I made it to the gas station, uh, put gas in the car, and then headed back to the hotel. Just super willing to help. I didn't bring a tarp. My engine is exposed. I think the rain is not going to start until 7, and we're going to head out and beat the weather. No. it's It starts raining at, I don't know, 4 in the morning, whatever. The car gets <laughs> soaked. 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, go out to the car. It's wet, and the car does not want to start. A gentleman is walking through through the parking lot this guy asks hey do you need help pushing on the onto your trailer and my trailer is like a flip trailer I say no I think I think we're okay or I don't know if we can even the three of us can push it up so he's like okay let me know and he leaves and it's dark and I'm thinking to myself like I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't have a winch I don't have I don't really know how I'm gonna get it on the trailer he comes back around and he goes uh, what if you know you just put it in gear and and hit hit the key and even in reverse and just I think it'll just drag itself right up the trailer. This is the best idea I've heard. Sure enough, I <clears throat> I back it up to, we push it back to the trailer, put it in reverse, I hit the key and it just crawls right up the trailer. The trailer sits flat. I shook his hand and said, thank you. I don't know his name. I didn't ask at the time. He, he was a doom buggy guy. He was in the same hotel there for the show. And again, it just showed you what doom buggy people are about. They're about, you know, helping people and having fun. I guess that's why I love doom buggy world so much is it really is about making people smile and having fun and you know having this you know weird quirky unique little car and how many things you can do in them and, and how many different directions you can take a doom buggy. you could be a street buggy you could make it fast you could really go off-road so many different things you can do with a buggy I'm just really glad that I went and thankful to everyone at the at the Pismo event if you're into doom buggies and you're watching this on YouTube uh, I highly recommend if you can attend an event I mean it seems like they've spread them out throughout the country that's a great group of people they're super warm and inviting they don't care what the condition of your doom buggy they're there to help and to uh, welcome you into the group and the club i'm looking forward to next year yeah it was just a great event and i had a great time with my son my son and i just it was it was my favorite part of the whole trip was just hanging out with my son and we got ice cream and just walked around and just kind of had fun i have a, a lot of great memories the best one is is that that I shared with my son. And uh, I think it's important to include young people on any dune buggy events because they're the, the future of dune buggings. If you're in a dune buggy, try and, and bring your, your kids or whomever is young to hopefully get them enthused about dune buggies to pass on the love for dune buggies. My grandfather had a steel-bodied yellow dune buggy. I think what started my love for dune buggies. I hope you enjoy the video and the footage um, and all the pictures. I had, a, I had a great time making this video. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, yada, yada, yada. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.